Well, hi everyone. Anthony Fantano here, the internet's busiest music nerd. It's time for a list of my favorite singles of 2011. Now keep in mind, these are just my favorite singles, songs that have officially been released physically or digitally as singles. I decided not to do my favorite tracks, just single tracks, because I knew that if I did that, I would be pulling random ass deep cuts from albums and then putting multiple tracks from a single album onto this list, and I wanted to get as many different groups as possible onto this thing, you know? So I'm doing singles, sprinkling a couple a couple tracks from my favorite, favorite albums of the year on here. Okay? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go through the first half of the list pretty quickly, talking about songs a little bit more as the list gets nearer to the top. Cool. At number 50, we have the drums with the song Money, and at 49, Balkans with Adida V. At number 48, it's Wild Beasts with Reach a Bit Further, and at number 47, Purity Ring with Belly Speak. My little belly speak. At 46, I'm putting Tyler the Creator with Yonkers, and at 45, M83 with Midnight City. At number 44, it's Beastie Boys with Make Some Noise, a song that had a music video that I think I should have given an honorable mention on my favorite videos list of 2011. I was kind of confused about that video, felt it was a little unfair too, that had such a huge budget behind it and so many, you know, celebrities. Well, not unfair, but you know what I mean. But anyway, that is my 44th favorite single of this year. And my 43rd is Gautier with somebody that I used to know, featuring Kimbra. At number 42, Colin Stetson with The Righteous Wrath of an Honorable Man. And at 41, Little Dragon with Nightlight. At 40, I'm putting Fucked Up with the song Queen of Hearts. And at 39, the Pains of Being Pure at Heart with Belong. At 38, I'm putting Nas with Nasty. I'm hoping that this track leads to a full-length album soon. And at 37, with my favorite track off of their debut album, Idle Labor, it's Craft Spells with After the Moment. At number 36, my favorite track from the new Horrors LP, Skying, Still Life. A great first single to start that album off with. At number 35, Veronica Falls with Bad Feeling. And at number 34, one of the more humorous hip-hop tracks of the year, Das Racist, with Michael Jackson. At number 33, I'm putting the Wild Flag 7-inch for the song Future Crimes that the band dropped earlier this year before their full-length debut. And at 32, Kate Bush with Wild Man. At 31, a fantastic classic rock throwback from Rival Sons on the song Pressure and Time. And, 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 and at number 30, one of my favorite tracks from the new Metronomy album, the look. At, at, at number 29, I'm actually going to put Radiohead with The Daily Mail, which is a goddamn good song that I wish actually made it onto the freaking King of Limbs. But it was nice to hear it in, in the basement sessions. At number 28, I'm putting TV on the radio with Will Do, and at 27, one of my favorite electronic artists of this year, Rusty, with Ultra Thiz, a really bright, bombastic, dubstep-infused, heavy synthesized, just piece of fun. At number 26, I'm putting St. Vincent with Surgeon, and at 25, one of my favorite songs from the new Subtract album, Wildfire. At number 24, Theophilus London with Flying Overseas, and at 23, one of the best rock songs, pop rock songs, that I've heard this year. It's a shame that the rest of the tracks on the album just weren't as awesome to me, Smith Westerns with Weekend. At number 22, the final track, and my favorite track, from the new Foo Fighters album, actually, Walk. Number 21, definitely one of the best rock singles of this year, Crystal Stilts with Shake the Shackles. Such a fun track. I love that freaking thing. At number 20, though this did not end up being one of my favorite albums of the year, I do love this song off of it. Freaking Cunning Linguists with Hard As They Come featuring Freddie Gibbs. Just a really great beat behind that song, and Freddie spits out a killer verse on it. At number 19, Big Crit with Dreamin', a great song that really kind of set the set the mood for that album, kind of set the stage for it before it dropped. And at 18, Rex with 25th Hour, just one of the hardest and most lyrically cunning pieces of boom bap that I've heard this year. At number 17, Macklemore and Ryan Lewis with Wings. At 16, I'm putting John Mouse with my favorite track from his latest LP, Believer. 
a hella catchy track that you've got to check out if you're into stuff like Ariel Pink. Hmm. At number 15, what is possibly the most intense track off of this album. Not quite a single, but a favorite that I had to put on here, a favorite that is going to stick out in my head when it comes to 2011. A lot of dispute with King Park. At number 14, the second time Big Crit shows up on this list with the Roots track, Make My, where he is featured, a song that really kind of sets the stage for the concept of that new Roots LP, Undone. And at 13, one of the catchiest songs that this guy has ever penned, Timber Tambor with Blackwater. At number 12, even though this album was not one of my favorites of the year, I friggin' love this song, Active Child with Playing House, featuring How to Dress Well, a really awesome piece of experimental R&B. At number 11, one of my favorite tracks from Kendrick Lamar's latest LP, Section 80, High Power, a great and just kind of empowering and inspirational hip-hop song. J. Cole did some awesome production on that track, and at number... Africa High Tech with Out in the Streets, a great juke tune. At number 9, I'm actually going to put Liturgy with Returner, one of my favorite tracks from that LP. At number 8, Battles with Ice Cream, a song that I was really weirded out by at first, but as I dove into the band's new LP, Gloss Drop, I really kind of came to love the song. It's, it's now one of my favorites on the album, and every single time I hear it, I'm just like, I gotta dance. At number 7, this track also comes off of an LP that is not one of my favorites, but I friggin' love this song. It's a real high point of this album and for the year for me. Bon Iver with Holocene. Beautiful track. At number six, one of the most fun and interesting pieces of dance pop that I've heard this year has some fantastic lyrics about somebody who kind of wants to go to a club, but is also kind of a, a, a hermit, an introvert, and also simultaneously hates the club scene. Holy Ghost with Do It Again. At number five, excuse me, I have to read this title. Shabazz Palace is with Swerve, the reaping of all that is worthwhile, noir notwithstanding. The final track off of that album, I believe, has a fantastic beat, and it's a great closer to that LP, too. At number four, PJ Harvey with The Words That Maketh Murder, just a song that, to me, really encapsulates the whole theme and, and, and concept behind Let England Shake. Just about war, about countries sending people to war, death, the human condition, just anger, greed, violence. And my third favorite track of the year is a song that kept me coming back to this album again and again and again. And this song, though not everybody knew about it at first, was actually a cover, believe it or not. James Blake with the Wilhelm scream. Yeah, you're not believing it, but you should be, because I'm being serious. At number two, a track that came off of a hip-hop album that totally ripped my skull open and then stuck a knife in there and then swished my brain around until it was basically like a brain milkshake and then closed my skull back and put it where it was and then left me with my brain all like that. Just kind of rude. Tachyon. Death Yon. From the new Death Grips LP, Ex Military. <sighs> Triple six, fuck, fuck, talk. In my numero uno, Fei Fei song of the year, is the title track from the new Fleet Foxes LP, Helplessness Blues. Love that song to death. Really kind of sets the tone and the theme for that entire album. Sort of this, this feeling of the world is such a great, big, wide, amazing place and I'm just a tiny little baby speck within it. And just the overwhelming thought of, of navigating this giant place known as the world and life. And those are my 50 favorite tracks of 2011. What do you guys think? What are your favorite tracks of 2011? Let me know in a comment or a video response. What songs got you excited? What songs got you pumped and all fired up? What songs made you cry? What songs made you depressed? What songs made you laugh? What songs made you think? 
What songs do you listen to again and again and again, and you just listen to them in complete awe? I want to know. Anthony Fantano, Songs 2011, Forever. <laughs>